Hello everyone, I'll be showing you how to set up a basic linking system using shape keys. Um, I'll be creating this with a character from Mixamo, but this will work on your own character as long as they have eyelids. Uh, you'll be needing a 3D software, I'm going to be using Blender today. First I'll be downloading the character from Mixamo. Uh, you can do that with clicking download here. Uh, T-Pose, FX binary, download. And I'm going to save it here in my assets folder for the tutorial. All right, now in Blender, we're going to go ahead and import the model. Import FBX. And here we go, select this. Armature, I'm going to ignore leaf bones. Import. All right, now we're going to go over to the data tab. It's three dots forming a triangle. And over here, we have a shape keys category. And we have a plus here. We can add shape key. I'm going to click this twice. First one's going to be the basis. This is the shape that the following keys are based on and then our second key here i'm going to name it blink this will be our actual like closed eyes uh, shape i'm going to set this value to one and then here uh, i'm going to go into edit mode so i can edit the mesh while having the shape key selected uh you can do this various ways um what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go in and I'm going to select the rim of the eyelid. I'm going to select both of them actually. Like so. And you can do scale, so S. And then you can set your axis that you want to scale on. So I'm going to do Z. That's uh, up and down. And then I'm going to, I'm going to press 0. And then I'm going to click with my left mouse button and it'll finalize the action. Uh, so you can see this is pretty messy. Um, we'll scale on the Y as well. So you can do the same thing except for with the Y button. I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to use G and then Y. I'm going to move it forward a bit. Uh, your character won't be the same as mine. So it might be a bit of a different process. Uh, but you're basically just trying to make this look as natural as possible. So now if we go over here to our shape key, and we can drag this value here, and you can see she's now blinking. And I'm now ready to export the character. So pretty simple file, export, and I'm going to select the character again, and export. Now in Unreal, uh, I've got my folder here with my character. I'm going to go and drag this in and in your mesh settings, go to advanced and we're going to want to make sure that we import morph targets. This is basically the, the unreal equivalent of shape keys in blender import all. All right. Now with our character imported, or if you already had a character and you re-import it to get the morph target in, you can open it up and see now in our morph target previews, we can adjust the weight here and zoom in you can see it's working all right next up we're going to add in the logic to our character blueprint i'm using the third person template so i'm going to go down to third person blueprints i'm going to open this up and in here i'm going to change the mesh i'm going to put this to maria and i'm going to get the camera boom i'm just going to make it make it closer so that I can show the character off better. So in our character's event graph, we're going to drag out our mesh here and we're going to set morph target. Uh, now, whatever you named your morph target on the mesh, I named mine blink. That's what you'll put here in morph target name. And how we're going to do this is we're going to do it on a timeline. So I'm going to create a timeline, call this blinking. And I'm going to create a new event. This event blink. And I'm going to put this into play from start. And we're going to put the update here into a set morph target. And inside our, our blinking timeline, I'm going to add a new float track. I'm going to call this a value. I'm going to put a length of, I don't know, 0.5. I'm going to add a new key. Time zero, value zero, 
uh, time 0.05 value of one. Add a key time 0.1 value zero. Okay. And so we ended up at 0.1 time. So I'm going to set the length to 0.1 like so. All right. And we're going to drag our value here from the timeline into the value of the set more target. Uh, I think we're going to uncheck remove zero weight. And off of finished here, we're going to call it delay. And our duration here is going to be the next time we blink. So for tutorial, tutorial sake, I'm just going to set this to point two. On completed, I'm going to call blink. <clears throat> there we go. And now I'm just going to call this blink on the begin play, which I guess isn't here. Okay, custom or I'm oh, sorry, not custom movement. Begin play, and we're gonna call blink. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, I have a Discord server for artists and game developers. Feel free to join if you need help with your projects or you just like to chat. And as always, thanks to my patrons. And have a great day and or night. Bye.